John Davidson here with Sprayworks Equipment Group. Let's get ready for another episode of Fix It Friday. John Davidson here with your Fix It Friday. Today we're going to discuss replacing the upper spring in your transfer pump. Once you've disconnected the air and the pressure is properly exhausted from the air motor, you may take a couple strap wrenches around the air cap and one around the cylinder in order to remove the top air cap. Just dive into the anatomy of the air cap first. There are several pieces that you need to understand. There is a black seal here. They generally don't go bad and don't often require replacement. The spring does get smashed and the bumper underneath can get damaged as well. The screw is actually an exhaust port. Many people think that it screws onto the bumper, but it in fact does not. It's there for an emergency bleed off in the event that air gets trapped on the upper section of the air motor. Here's an example of a smash spring. This typically happens when the pump is allowed to run empty and cavitate, or just over a period of time they do wear out. There's no real easy way to remove the spring. The screwdriver, simply pry up. In this case, the bumper is also destroyed. Once you thoroughly clean the inner lip here, we need to install the rubber bumper. Apply a liberal amount of adhesive. Super glue, various types of rubber cements all will work. Just really to hold it in there, it will get caught by the spring. Next, you want to take your spring, insert this into the lip, go about 50% around where the spring starts to not go inside the groove, apply pressure, downward pressure with the screwdriver. Spring is installed. 